Hey guys, what's up? Today we're gonna look at a little little something something from Surefire of all places. Not given to me. I paid my money for it. Wife's gonna kill me when she finds out, but I think it's worth it. I think it's been cool. Let's check it out. Alright, so <clears throat> this is the new that I think it is. I haven't opened it yet because this my unboxings, I try to keep them quite um, you know, real. That's why this didn't go as smoothly as I wanted to. There we go. Okay, so you get stuff and things. Oh, and just big shout out to, uh, who are these people? Uh, Texas Outdoors, big, <clears throat> big Texas ordinance. I'm sure that is everything out of there. Kudos to them. I've ordered some stuff from them before. They send swag. I love it when a company sends swag. They care about the customers enough to make them feel special, right? Cool little sticker. And candy, I don't know. There may have been one other company, and I can't, um, Ravencrest Tactical. Uh, I don't have it on me right now, but my knife. Uh, they do the same thing, they will send you candy. Oh, and another sticker. There you go, that's another cool sticker. So, you get stickers, <clears throat> sorry I got junk going on in my throat. Stickers, copy of the Constitution, most people probably don't even know what's in there. But that's cool, and, uh, and candy. And, <clears throat> the X300 Turbo. Take a look at that, that's the X300 Turbo. So, I found out about this light, because <clears throat> I was taking a pistol class like a month ago, basically, and I didn't even know Surefire was coming out with a high candela, not lumen, a high candela light. And I heard about it and I was like, well, that's interesting. And um, I'm in the market for, for some actual hard use stuff. Like I've used some other things, right? Some other brands of stuff. We'll talk about it in a minute. Olight. <clears throat> Um, so I've used some different things before and they've been cool. They've been different, right? The high candela stuff. I have another one over here. Um, Malkoff, a Malkoff head. Cool stuff. So, but I don't have a good, a good quality pistol light like this. So, let's just open this guy up real quick um, and check it out. And, uh, and then I'll keep yabbering at you. Okay, so here we go. This is everything that's out. I think you can see it. Uh, lots of construction man uh, material, right? So, or instruction, whatever. Um, so I'm gonna have to go through and read this stuff, but for highlights for you guys, I'll probably just take a picture of it, unless it shows up really well right here. I don't think it's going to. I'll probably just take a picture of it for you and throw it up there. Um, thousand lumens, six, uh, no? What's it say? This is the turbo, TA, not UA. This is the TA, correct? Yes, TA. TA is 650 lumens, not a thousand, right? One and a half hours, 66,000 candela. Okay, so there's a big, big difference there. And that's a big difference between the other one, which I do have the other Surefire. Where did it go? Where did it go? It's somewhere. It's upstairs. I should have grabbed it. It's upstairs, but <clears throat> that is the regular um, Ultra, right? X300 Ultra. That's a thousand lumens. Um, 1.25 hours, less runtime, only 11,300 candela. So you're talking one sixth, basically. One sixth. That's right, yeah. If my math is correct, and I think it is, the old Ultra, X300 Ultra Surefires, um, that's one sixth the candela of this new guy. So that's interesting. That's interesting. This should be very night and day different. Get it? Because it's a, it's, it's a flashlight. <clears throat> Sorry, I couldn't resist. Should come with the batteries, the 123As, um, and then all the other stuff. I mean, I'll throw, I'll throw up the information up there for you so you can read it if you want to. Um, I'm not super into specs and all that, but you do get your uh, read owner's manual stuff about batteries because they blow up in California or whatever. Um, brochures about stuff, cool little sticker. You can put it on uh, something. I never put these stickers on anything. I put them on my safe sometimes, but yeah. Um, you do have, this is why you need to read, read the instruction manuals, your different attachment mode things. You got some different attachments and stuff, apparently. Um, I've messed around with that a little bit before, but usually these just run fine for me right out of the box. I don't mess around with this stuff. They do give you Loctite, which is cool. Um, that, that goes to show you, this is a little thing, excuse me, this is a little thing that um, sets apart quality companies versus cheaper companies, in my opinion. Quality companies know that these things are gonna be beat to death, right? These are real life things that are real life people are going to use. Not a gimmick, not a let's run around in the backyard and you know play airsoft, it's different. These are used for real people, real stuff. So they know stuff matters. So Loctite is a real thing, right? These other companies, they don't care. They just strap it on, use it, and when it falls off and breaks, go buy another one. 
No, no, no. It sets, a, it sets the men from the boys, right? It separates those things. One of the things, one of the things. So that's just a little attention to detail I like to pay attention to. Who gives you that kind of stuff? Packaging material, nobody cares about that. Here's the light itself, moving on into this. Works just like, there's a little safety tab, take that thing out. Um, this is literally just like the same as the, uh, the X300 Ultra. Which, speaking of which, since we are doing this review, I'm gonna run upstairs real quick. All right, so since this is a comparison, I went ahead and grabbed the uh, the Surefire Ultra, right? So let's take these guys, make sure we don't separate stuff. This is the Turbo, right? It is called the Turbo. Turbo, yes, make sure I do say it right. That's the Turbo, this is the Ultra, and I am running, <laughs> this is blasphemy, don't kill me. Um, these are Olight rechargeable batteries. I like rechargeable batteries. These are brand new, they're not brand new, freshly charged. Don't kill me, all right? Let's take a chill pill. But those rechargeable batteries. But if you look at these guys side by side, close these doors a little bit, side by side, the Turbo right here and the Ultra right here. When you look at them right next to each other, there's really like no difference. And I think uh, from what I'm understanding and what I read, they did that on purpose. They did this. There's some marking differences, obviously. Um, and the heads are definitely different. I don't know how well it'll show up in here. The turbo right here and the Ultra right here, right? Um, from what I understand, they did this on purpose to keep the bodies the same. That way, and thank you, Surefire, that way these things can use the same holsters, right? There are so many companies out there that just want to make a buck right? They'll release a new version and they'll tweak it a little bit. So now you got to go out and buy whole new attachment systems, right? Or pressure switches and different things and stuff. Whole new set of holsters and things. It's maddening. It drives me nuts, right? It's almost like the, you know, holster companies and the light companies, accessory companies are all in cahoots trying to make money. Imagine that. It's not a terrible idea, but it's frustrating on the end user. Um, but anyway, Surefire didn't do that. So kudos to them. So let's go ahead and put these batteries back in here. Um, and let's check this out. Make sure we put them in the correct way. Oh, that guy goes that way and that way. Whoop, that was bright. All right, so that's that guy. And yes, these are stinking rechargeable batteries, but they're fresh, freshly charged. So don't, don't get mad at me too much. Y'all didn't see that. Okay, so this is the, I don't know if it's the original, but the Ultra 1000 lumens, right? Nice and bright. On the camera, it looks like it almost has a yellowish hue to it. Not so bad. In person, it's not so bad. No, I mean, it's a little bit there. Nice hot spot, big throw, all that kind of stuff. Y'all know Surefire, you know what's up, all right? Again, pressure switches, all that being the same. Here is the turbo. Yeah, there you go. So hopefully you can tell the difference. The turbo still has throw, which I like that. This is a pistol light. It needs throw, it needs a, uh, um, not throw, uh, you know what the term is, the floodlight effect, whatever, spill, spill. Still has that spill, that hue that goes all the way around. Hopefully you can see my little finger going all the way around. That's good, because pistol lights need that. But right there in the middle, bing, bang, boom, that little hot spot, that's cool. That's really good. <clears throat> I like that. So, turbo compared to ultra. Can you tell the difference, maybe? Yeah, turbo is like a circle. This guy is like a big bunch of light, right? So applications on these things are gonna be very dependent on, on what your applications are, right? Do you need a punch through like distance, right? I could almost see this as being a small, relatively lightweight thing that you put on a rifle, right? And it's 66,000 66, candela. That is bright, dude. Um, and for comparison, uh, like, what we were talking about, make sure I finish my sentences. Sometimes I go on and ramble about stuff and I forget to finish my sentences. Um, like why I got this. I got this because I wanted one, right? Basically. I think I, I don't think I finished that story earlier, but it doesn't matter. Um, uh, the application of this, like I just said, pistol stuff, you, in general, pistols need that wider field of view, that wider spill, as it were, so you can see, because you pop into a room <clears throat> or a hallway or parking lot, whatever, it's a pistol. So it doesn't necessarily need to go out to a thousand yards, right? I mean, that's kind of impractical. Even a hundred yards, pretty impractical. 25 yards, good. This is much, the turbo is much more fine pinpoint kind of stuff, but that spill right there, 
See that spill? That is, I'm, I'm, happy, I'm happy with that. I'm happily with that. So in contrast, this is why I like to say you got good quality stuff. And here's something that, I mean, quality is what you expect it to be. This is Olite, right? And this is their turbo. I think they just released this not too long ago. This is theirs. There's like almost, almost no spill around here, okay? Very bright hotspot. And I don't remember, I'll try to look it up. I don't remember the exact um, candela on this guy. But this is a this is almost a laser, right? And when you go outside with this thing, this is a this is a freaking laser beam of light. Very good for pinpoint precision throwing light. Okay? But compare that to the turbo, the other turbo, the Surefire Turbo, big difference there. The the Surefire actually looks cleaner and whiter. The the O light almost has maybe it's the lighting I have in here, it's almost a yellowish green blue like an aqua, like it's being put through an aqua filter, almost. I mean, you can kind of tell, I don't know how well that comes up in camera. This is the Surefire, this is the Olight. I don't know how well it comes across, but even with this, the, the, the Olight is still just a circle, very little spill, where the Surefire has all that spill, but even its hotspot is more pinpoint, pinpointed, whatever, than the, than the Olight. So that's an interesting thing. That's, that is interesting to, to consider. Another deal, since we're comparing Surefire to Surefire, or we're not, but let's do it. This is the um, this is a Surefire Scout M600, I do believe. Yes, with the Malkoff the E2HT. <clears throat> Sorry, man, I got stuff in my throat. So that's the head that's on here. So this is again another high uh, candela um, output. I, I'll put the numbers up if I can remember. Um, but that's this guy over here on the right. And then we grab our Surefire Turbo. And there you go, put that guy over here on the left. Um, I think that's correct. I think that's correct. Anyway, maybe I need to spread these guys out a little bit more. You can't really tell. I can tell in person. Um, again, the, the Surefire Turbo is, again, a much tighter hotspot. Plenty of spill. And I think, yeah, even compared even compared to this Malkoff head, this Turbo has has more spill. So you still, you're getting, you're getting more spill. I think that's the correct term. Don't don't crucify me if I'm wrong on that. It throws out more light, but and it has a hotter, um, that a hotter, a brighter hotspot. So that's some interesting stuff. So that's some first looks for me looking at this thing. Um, checking holster compatibility. Compatibility. I am really all over my words today, aren't I? I think the only holster I have right now that takes the Surefire is the. Uh, let's use. No, he's got a light on it. Is the um, the armadillo? The armadillo. I think that's the only holster I have right now that takes that. So let's let's grab. Well, shoot, this is kind of funky, but let's just do it anyway. This is the X300 Ultra. We should know that this works, right? This is the regular one that they've always had, and it should fit in here just fine. Just there you go, like that. Okay, take that guy off. Put the turbo on. It's a little bit tighter. It's also newer, but whatever. There you go. So he fits in there just like he's supposed to. A little bit tighter, but again, like I said, it's it's, it's newer. It's not as broke in as the other Surefire. Not that there's much to break in, but there you go. That is pretty. That's pretty cool. So these are the only holsters I have for this right now. I'm I have another holster on order. I got a tier one, the Modern Samurai Project um, holster coming in. Um, so hopefully I can run this on some real guns and actually use it and stuff because I do actually plan on carrying this one. This one makes more sense. This is to where for me and my applications, the things that I use, and this is where everybody's different. Some people just love to run around and play games and stuff. Some people really, I mean, they use these things for work, right? And some people just take personal protection, whatever, very seriously. Some of them take them too seriously. I try to be mediocre in all those kind of categories and stuff. I think it's good to have excellent quality equipment for things that need excellent quality equipment, right? If I'm just piddling around, I can use this freaking Olight all day long. He has never failed me, right? But I wouldn't want, honestly, I really wouldn't want to put this on a gun that I'm gonna potentially be using in a real world application where people could actually get hurt. I'll just put it that way, okay? Not so much that I don't trust it, but I don't trust it. You see what I'm saying? Read between the lines there. I still like it. It's still cool, but 
it proofs in the pudding right here, the Surefire one, which is about three times the cost, is also three, three times better, more than three times better. It's better quality. Um, the reputation is up there. Granted, it's a new model, so there might be some, you know, I don't know, some some growth that needs to happen there where the, you know you have a new model and they have to up, update as things happen and stuff but it's surefire which doesn't mean everything but it is surefire that makes sense read between the lines there if you want to um that's pretty much that that is a quick little look-see at this guy um we are i'm recording this in august right and so we're starting to get some more nighttime the summer's kind of waning kind of not really coming to an end but summer's kind of going away meaning up in alaska if you don't know, you have a lot of light during the summer and a lot of darkness during the fall and winter, right? And spring. So we're coming into that phase, starting to kind of push into that phase where there's that transition between more light and more dark. I'm trying to say we're getting, we're, we're going, to, we're heading into the more dark season. Heading in there. We're not there yet, but we're heading there. When that season comes, it will be way easier, if that's proper English, to evaluate these lights a lot better because. There's been times where I get flashlights to review and I look at stuff and you go outside at like midnight and, and I mean, it's still bright outside and it's kind of annoying, right? And to be making videos at, you know, midnight or one in the morning with the neighbors out, that's kind of weird. So as we get more dark darkness, it will, it will make more sense and I'll be able to actually go out and show this stuff in more action, quote unquote. That's pretty much it. If you got any questions before we actually head out to the field field whatever that's a lame term but I, before we actually head out outside of the shop and and evaluate this thing and really look at it and use it in real world applications use the light right let me know if you got any questions so i'm trying to say if you if you want to know if it fits xyz sure i mean it's going to be in the owner's manual you have a bunch of different attachment kind of things right here and i can't remember exactly what all these are for i've read it before but i just use the one that comes on here but that's that i'm going to stop um word vomiting and get on with my day all right y'all be good to be safe appreciate you watching subscribing everything really really do really really love it y'all take care catch you later see you